Yeah, we judge the book by its cover. If the brother, his pants are below the ankles and his beard is shaved, I don't know, he has an earring. I'm not going to say, Akhi, maybe at night he is one of the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But subhanAllah, sometimes they say the book, you could, you could know the content of the book from the title. Huh? From the title. And the statement of don't judge a book by its cover is not a sound, is not an Islamic statement. The statement of don't judge a book by its cover is actually a statement of, of falsehood. It's a battle statement that negates tooth and nail the fundamental principles of Islam. If anything, we're all about what is apparent. We're all about al zahir we're all about what's in the cover. You don't see a, a, a bar, a strip club, and you say, who knows, maybe there's a musalla inside. Let me go inside. And when you go inside, it's like, oh, look, there are women stripping. Oh, a'udhu billah, there's no musalla here. Oh, let me run back outside. Some, some funny guy comes along the way and says, brother, don't judge a book by its cover. Just because they have a picture of a lady stripping outside and the name of the place is, uh, you know, come and try, it doesn't mean that it's a bad place. Or you see a book that, that is titled, you know, uh, The Seven Secrets of Magic. And then you're like, oh, well, what if the book inside is telling me about the seerah of the Prophet Ali Akhi, don't judge a book by its cover. Akhi, one more time and I will knock you out. You tell me one more time, don't judge a book by its cover and you're out. In the ICU where I will not see you. Nobody will see you. Cut that stuff, man. You guys, people love to re-repeat. Re repeat statements of disbelievers and of, of falsehood and they, they get happy. Hey, look, you know, it's, this is the trend. People say this all the time. No, you better know what you're saying. Yeah, we judge the book by its cover. If the brother, his pants are below the ankles and his beard is shaved and, uh, you know, he's, uh, I don't know, he has an earring. I'm not going to say, Akhi, maybe at night he is one of the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La, ya shaykh, la. Similarly, it doesn't mean that we don't take into consideration that there could be two aspects or two sides of the coin. So a person could look to be righteous and then turn out to be corrupt, no problem. We don't judge that he's automatically from among, among the people of, of Khair and Jannah because of his appearance, but we definitely take that into consideration. So the, the initial reaction is yes, you judge a book by its cover, but then you do further investigation, you get to know it could turn out to be something else. As for the, the appearance of the statement, the default state of this expression, it's false. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.